Welcome back. A Bloomington teenager who was impaled by the rudder of a sailboat is using her experience to help and inspire other young people going through similar trauma. Earlier today, I was there as she reunited with the Riley surgeon who saved her life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Six years after the injury that nearly took her life, Caroline Patillo got to hug the surgeon who saved it. I just hold it close to my heart that he did that for me. Caroline was 10 years old when a sailboat's rudder impaled her on Lake Monroe. I didn't really know how badly I was injured. I knew something was wrong. Caroline had massive internal injuries. Medics lifelined her to Riley Children's Hospital. Obviously the major thing we want to worry about up front is any sort of massive bleeding that could accompany an injury like this. Then it was time for surgery. Part of surgery was reconstructing everything. A part of it was protecting it from, from breaking down. I asked my mom if I was going to die. <laughs> That's all I remember. She said, I'm strong, I'm brave, and I can make it through. Now 16, Caroline is fully recovered, and she's using her experience to help others and fundraise for Riley Hospital. I think it would mean a difference to me if I was in the same place I was and some kid that had survived came and told me that they did survive. In addition to her fundraising efforts for Riley and public speaking, Caroline says she wants to go to med school and become a surgeon herself. Whatever her future holds, Caroline says none of it would be possible without the love and support of her family. I do think it makes an impact um, for other kids, whether she has realized it or not. And the life-saving efforts of Dr. Landman and the team at Riley. I couldn't be happier with the progress she's made. Now, May is National Trauma Awareness Month, and you can read more about that by going to this story on our website, fox59.com.